Jim. Uh, obviously, I'm honored to receive the nomination to replace our Congressman Steve LaTourette on November's ballot. I appreciate the hard work that each party chair and each party secretary has done over the last two weeks in order to, in the dedication they have shown. These men and women have been under tremendous pressure, and I want them to know how grateful I am for their support. I also want to thank the citizens of Geauga County for entrusting me over the last two decades <clears throat> one of the most important jobs in government. Even on the darkest of days, I truly enjoyed serving as a prosecuting attorney in this county, and I'll be forever grateful for the support and encouragement that I've received while discharging my duties. People have come to know that I say what I mean, and I mean what I say. That, I promise you, I will continue to do when I go on to D.C. But please know my work isn't done here. Among many cases, we'll continue to vigorously pursue justice in the matter involving the Chardon school shootings, and I fully expect to have that case behind me before I leave. Although the election to Congress is very important, my first priority remains my job as a prosecuting attorney. From Brecksville to Conneaut, Menor to Solon, from Kinsman to Concord, Aurora, Willoughby, and Geneva. The district is very diverse, and I look forward to meeting with as many people as I can in all seven counties. My car is gassed up. I'm ready to put many miles on it. I'm going to visit as many people as I can in the district in the next 87 days. <laughs> Some of you ask, why am I running? I'm running because we need American people to lead America's economic recovery, not politicians and not bureaucrats. Wherever I go, same story. Washington is broke and no one is listening. Well, I'm listening and I get it. Kelly and I fully understand the terrible economy and the impact on hardworking taxpayers. As a family, we've had to tighten our belts and go without. Why can't Washington? Over the coming months, the hardworking taxpayers of the 14th District will hear our message of cost-effective government that is limited in scope, but focused where needed. A message that calls to the federal government to get out of the way of job creation by removing unnecessary regulatory red tape and reforming our unfair and antiquated tax system. A message that does not tell people what they want to hear, but what they need to know. We'll also discuss how to enhance and improve our physical infrastructure, the roads, bridge, rails, and harbors that depend for, we depend on for commerce, for job creation, and transport of goods. We need a federal government that is committed to physical infrastructure system that is second to none. As my dear friend Congressman Latourette has done since his first days in office. He's done a tremendous job of making sure that Northeastern Ohio was his first priority and making sure that infrastructure spending was spent here. And if elected, I plan on continuing that. We also need to get our country for moving forward again to secure the American dream for my children <laughs> and for future generations while keeping our commitment to our senior citizens. They have lived in a way that taught all of us that working hard and playing by the rules is what it meant to be an American. Our national defense will promote security through strength, a fully funded defense, and absolute commitment to serving the needs of our men and women in uniform and the veterans who came before them. My father, a World War II vet, would expect no less of me. Hopefully you can hear the optimism in my voice. <laughs> I'm the living proof that a son of a small business owner and a stay-at-home mom can truly live the American dream. I believe in America where hard work is rewarded. I truly believe that our best days lie ahead. And my goal in the coming campaign will be to talk about my vision and more specific the ways federal government can assist, or not, in the pursuit of that dream. Thank you.